Welcome back to Good Morning La La. It is all about Monday motivation and we are all about self-expression and no better way to bring in a Monday with, than with lingerie, right? <laughs> we have Kayla Methven, who is a designer, entrepreneur, and she awakens the dominatrix. How do you say that? Dominatrix. Dominatrix. Yes. That's, I've always wanted to say that and I've never wanted to say that. Shh, I can't, it like gets me a little scared. <laughs> what? Why does it get you scared? I don't know. Maybe I'm scared of my own power. I'm, no, I'm just joking. Well, that's what, well, that's that what I do exactly? is, yeah. is I bring basically bring out this, you know, type of dominatrix feel in women. You know, most women like to hide within themselves. So, you know, basically I made my brand in order to bring, you know, women into like have power and control and confidence. So you shouldn't ever be scared of that. No, I mean, I'm, I mean, I think it's great. I think it's beautiful <laughs> that we live in a place like La La Land, where we really embrace self-expression as long as it's not hurting anyone, right? I mean, of well, course. other than a little S&M, you know what I'm saying? But no. <laughs> a, a little, little playful. Right? No, a little kidding. playful. No, yeah. Yeah, so tell I, us about it. Yeah, I mean, this, honestly, okay. So sexy, you guys. Look at this. I mean, you really have created something that's such a fusion between, like, high fashion mm -hmm. and lingerie. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, this is my last collection, the Lady Methvin collection, which I made. Um, mm -hmm. It started off with uh, Latroductus, which is more of my high-end couture sexiness. And when I saw what it did for other women, I wanted to make a more affordable line. Mm -hmm. So I made Lady Methvin, which is now also available on Amazon worldwide. That's beautiful. Wow. Yeah. So tell us about your personal story. How did, what, you know, what makes somebody go, you know what, this is my, this is my design. What happened? Well, there's a lot of factors that go into it. You know, I am, it comes from a place of love and passion. Um, a lot of positive energy went into this. Mm -hmm. And um, I fell in love at a very early age. And from there, I wanted to bring these memorable experiences to other women, you know, and this mm -hmm. confidence. I wanted them to feel that feeling of love again. Because some people don't think that they can re-fall in love again. But I'm here to tell you that you can. Mm. So spice it up. That's the secret to falling in love again. Spice it up, keep it alive, and dress for love. Mm. love dress for love. Dress for love. I, love I love that because I try and live ready for anything, right? Right. But I certainly fall down on the like feminine power, embracing that like strength within myself because I am maybe like Aaron said, a little bit intimidated about it, or maybe a little bit shy. Well, you know, today there's a lot going on in the universe. You know, example. Um, you, you know, right now there's, um, in the entertainment industry, there's a lot of like bad behavior, there's accusations. Mm -hmm. So women are scared today to bring out their sexuality and, and show it, but we shouldn't be deprived of love. We shouldn't let yeah. this stop us. You know, we should just keep, you know, if there's a problem today, there's gonna be one tomorrow, so it doesn't matter. I absolutely love this, like, you know, and um, you know, one of the reasons we started the show is because um, we thought it was so deeply important to not, I don't even like the term empower women as much as giving women an opportunity to sort of express and share their power. Mm -hmm. For you, you know, what has allowed you to get to this place where you feel so deeply empowered? Have there been certain things that you've done, whether they're spiritual practices, or is it just, has it always been about the lingerie, or what allows, because I think a lot of, I know men do too, but a lot of folks struggle with embracing that power, mm -hmm. you know, especially when you're either raised or grew up in a way that you don't feel very powerful, you feel very powerless. So what well, works for you, what's worked? Basically, it's when I see my clients happy and they tell me their stories after. That's what makes me cry. When they write me letters, messages, and when they call me, they're like, Kayla, thank you. Last night was amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, me and my husband, we reconnected. Or me and my boyfriend, you know, we had the most amazing experience on our wedding night. And, you know, when I hear my clients talk about this, this just embraces me more and more to create more. So this is, it's really, it's really all about making people happy, feeling powerful and attractive. And when I do that, that just makes me go even more wild and create mm -hmm. more crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. It's interesting though, as a woman, you know, it's a, there's a dance, I think, between being objectified mm -hmm. and also being, wanting to, you know, feel sexy in your own skin and express yourself. Like that dance is something that I think we're all trying to figure out. And I think it's unique and obviously for each person that's gonna be a different expression. But your line in particular, was there something that inspired it? Besides, of course, your own love and, and what, what do you really want for women? You want them to just rekindle their love or find their expression or what is that? There's a lot of it. Uh, there's a lot of components. I mean, there's a component of their sensuality, their confidence. I want them to feel empowered again. Um, you know, my lingerie is based on the Masquerade Venice Ball. 
-hmm. because you could be whoever you wanted to be that night. That's cool. And they would spend the entire year making their costumes. And then finally, when they had the ball, it ended up being a, a big festivity. So, and everyone would wear masks, and I felt like the possible was possible. Mm -hmm. So that was my main inspiration. And then growing up in Paris, in Europe, and seeing all the culture, the arts, you know, the people, and then just traveling all over the world, you know? Mm -hmm. I love your nails. Show them your nails. The shiny, the shiny right? nails. Yeah. <laughs> They're really beautiful. I'm really inspired by you and your business sense. You know, we, we know that you're an heiress to the whole KFC dynasty, but what did you learn from your family in creating that business and legacy for yourself in a completely new way? Uh, stay very professional and precise with your clients, and it taught, you, taught me a lot about success and the value of money. That's what I can tell you. That's what my family taught me. What's been the hardest part of the journey for you? Um, I'd probably have to say is courage. Yeah. You know, it's keeping my courage up. Because today, you know, it's really hard, you know, when you are let down or someone doesn't like your designs or, you know, making it into the fashion industry. You know, building your empire was not done in one day. It took time. So the courage that came from my heart is really what brought me to where I am today. And what's next for you? Well, I do have New York Fashion Week in, uh, in, in February. Uh -huh. so. That's fun. Congratulations. Yeah, and I'm doing a collaboration with uh, Boy London. Mm -hmm. um, I have a, um, another live interview with Entrepreneur Magazine. I have Good Day LA coming up. Wow. Um, I'm a judge at a Miss Filipino Universe contest. Mm -hmm. So my schedule is actually pretty, pretty booked. I was also nominated for a Best Designer at the La Jolla Film Festivals. Wow. So they did a documentary on me, so I'm pretty excited. So clearly, you've been sleeping the last seven weeks, eight weeks. <laughs> yeah, not yeah, sleeping just at all. <laughs> That's great. Awesome. Well, where can people find you? Well, you can find me definitely online. You can find me on Amazon, or you can just come downtown to my showroom. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, yes, because I would like to try this on after the show. Oh. Look at this, you guys. The Look Aphrodite. Oh, is it really? <laughs> That's called the Aphrodite cocktail dress. So uh, the moment you oh. put it on, you absolutely just feel like a movie star. I already So do. it's just great. It's fun. It's twirly. Everyone loves it. Girls, when they walk inside like my showroom, they literally pop champagne and they make a humongous mess and they throw my clothes everywhere and they try on everything because oh. they're like in a candy store. <laughs> You know, it's like every woman's fantasy to come in and try and like all this couture, you know, like lingerie, theatrical clothing. So it's a lot of fun, you know, and I, and I love making people happy and seeing my clients happy. Well, thank you for giving us the opportunity to do that, to bring out our inner Aphrodite and really empower ourselves. Yep. We appreciate it. Well, thank you. And also, I just want to point out that Lady Methven <laughs> is now available um, online and I'm actually the first lingerie brand to do this. You know, I think this would actually look good. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, there's a subscription now for $24.99 a month. Uh, basically, now you can custom make your own lingerie. And I'm the first lingerie brand to ever come up with this. Mm. And it can be delivered to your door. Wow. For $24.99? A month. And you get ah. a 12-piece collection. 12 wow. pieces? 12 pieces. And it's a surprise every time. So it could be a robe, it could be panties, it could be a wrap, it can be any, anything. It, be, it can be the sparkly bra. I mean, oh, wow. I mean, it's, 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 it's a surprise. And you can put your exact measurement. So if you're a 32A and a half, it's coming right to a 32A and a half. Wow. That is so exciting. And we actually have a doll. So when you do your subscription and everything, you actually put in your exact measurements and then the factory will design it for you. Perfect. Woo, so that's something great. really yes. exciting and new, and I just wanted to point that out. But uh, you know, I stay very loyal to my uh, couture, my couture line, which is Lash Reductus and Made to Adore. And uh, but this is definitely something great because I felt that you know, more women, you know, they couldn't afford what I was selling, and I felt that no woman should be deprived of this. Mm. You know, I wanted yeah. all women to have a piece of Madame Methven. So I came up with Lady Methven, and now it's just selling out. It's going crazy. You can check out my Instagram, at Madame Methven, and visit my website and sign up. Okay, so. perfect. I'll accept that challenge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great, you're on. Okay, well, thanks so much. We'll thank you. Sure you guys will be right back. Thank you so much. $24.99.